How's it going everyone? I'm going to show you the newest update of Essential Effects. So for this update, we've added custom made VFX overlays. These are all custom made, made from scratch. These are basically to do 3D particles and 3D effects without needing the actual software or spending the hours creating them. First thing you want to do is make a 3D camera onto the layer you want to track. So I already have mine tracked. So I'm going to go here and just create a camera. Next thing we're going to do is head over to Essential Effects, scroll down to VFX Overlays, and let's put some fireworks in here. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'll just double click. I'm going to drag this down. We're going to change the blending mode to add. Now you can see we do have the effects here, but we need to put it into 3D space. So we're going to go over here and click our Q button, which is the 3D layer option. And you'll notice it does disappear, but that's fine because we'll just go find it on the timeline. You can already see it's right here. So if we scroll through, we'll see it's moving away. So we'll press P for position and change our Z coordinate. We're also going to press S and up our scale. R for orientation. We'll get this pointing the right way. Now let's see where we want to place it. I do want to place it somewhere up here and a little deeper into the Z axis. Right there is about good where the firework goes off above the car. But I do want to add one more around here probably near this wall pole right here. So I'm gonna scroll through some of the files, lots of particles in here, ground cracks. There's lightning effects in here too that I made. I think I'm gonna add in the one with color that's shooting up. So double click that, scroll this down, blending mode to add, 3D space. And we're gonna copy the position from our fireworks we did earlier. And we're gonna paste that to our new layer. So we have a basis to start on. Change the orientation, increase the scale, and let's move this a little bit deeper. And I do want this to come behind the car, so I'm going to drag it down to where it starts behind the car. And we're going to bring this below our rotor brush layer, or our car mask. And I change the color on all these overlays that do have color. Say you don't want this to be green, we'll just go to hue and saturation. Drag that onto our overlay, and we can just adjust the color here. As you can see, this does seamlessly come behind the car. If you want to get into detail, you can mask out this window right here and have them behind. But we got the firework and we got the particle rising. This effect too was used with the sinkhole. So I just applied it here. Went to transform, I flipped it upside down. So it looks like the car is going up. Go to blending mode, add. And you basically would just add this into 3D space as well. This is Essential Effects version 0.2. Stay tuned for more.